Hello everyone, welcome back. In previous video, we have seen Beer Lambert's equation, we have seen Beer Lambert's uh, limitations, certain examples for uh, calculating the percent content using Beer's equation, and also in last uh, video, we have seen of paracetamol calculation when standard absorptivity value is given. So, if this is my Beer Lambert's equation, we know that small a stands for absorptivity. Okay, this is just the repetition of my earlier video. Absorptivity, we have specific absorbance with us and second type of absorptivity is molar absorptivity which we have seen earlier. So, when we substitute molar absorptivity epsilon here, okay, then after substituting this, this and this, B is usually 1 centimeter. Okay, so whatever concentration we get that is in moles per liter and specific absorbance is nothing but A1% 1 centimeter value. So, when we substitute A1% 1 centimeter value here and we substitute here absorbance and B is 1, at that time whatever concentration we get that unit will be grams per 100 ml. So, this is the unit of concentration and in this case moles per liter is the unit of concentration. So, now it may happen that we do not have absorptivity value of this particular drug. In that case, what we can do? Whenever absorptivity value is not provided to us, at that time, we cannot use this equation directly. We cannot substitute absorbance here because we don't have absorptivity value. So, in that case, we must have the standard drug with us. In that case, we must have standard drug with us. The API availability should be there. And when standard drug is there, using this we can prepare a standard solution. Whenever I say this term standard solution, means what? Means I know which substance it is. I know what is the concentration of this substance is present in the solution. Okay, that means standard drug. And then I have this sample solution. So, using the concentration and the absorbance of standard, I can find out concentration of sample. Okay, with the help of same formula of the Beer Lambert's equation, where A is directly proportional to C, right? So, here A standard is directly proportional to C standard, and at the same time, A sample is directly proportional to C sample. So, I can just divide these terms. So, to simplify, I can write this equation as A standard divided by A sample and C standard divided by C sample. So, C standard I know how much concentration of the standard I have prepared that I know, right? Absorbance value I am getting from the instrument. C sample I have to find out and absorbance of the sample I am getting from the instrument. Right? So, direct substitution in this particular relationship of standard and sample that is concentration and absorbance, I will get the concentration of sample. So, let us uh, take one example. This is the experiment of single point standardization which we usually perform. Here, the procedure is given for preparation of standard solution and procedure is given for the preparation of sample solution. Let us check first the preparation of standard solution. The given standard stock solution of paracetamol has concentration of 1000 microgram per ml. So, this is the standard paracetamol. So, which substance is there I know and what is the concentration that also I know. Now, from the solution, let me write here first. I have this 1000 microgram per ml solution available with me. This is the standard stock solution. From this solution, pipette out 10 ml. That means I am withdrawing 10 ml from here. And make up the volume to 100 ml using the solvent 0.1 normal NOH. So, I am making up the volume to 100 ml. As I have told you in my previous video, whenever I am withdrawing, I am drawing this vertical arrow. Whenever I am making up the volume, I am drawing this horizontal arrow. So, this is my first solution, first dilution. Then in the next point here, pipet out 1 ml of the standard solution. So, from this again, I have to withdraw 1 ml. Right, and dilute it to 10 ml using NaOH. 
and absorbance of this solution is to be major okay so okay i will get uh, absorbance value of this solution here let us say absorbance value of the standard is 0.518 this is the absorbance of standard so let me call it as a standard what about concentration c standard also i should know that means i should know concentration of this 10 ml right ml is volume so i have to know its concentration so from here we can calculate the concentration of let us say this is solution a and this is solution b okay so it is c1 v1 c2 v2 so from this 1000 microgram per ml i am withdrawing 10 ml so this v1 is 10 c1 is 1000 and i am making up the volume to 100 ml so v2 is 100 so what is the concentration of solution a okay so if you just cross multiply here 100 microgram per ml that is the concentration of solution a right now what is the concentration of solution b then because we are more interested in concentration of solution b why because that we will be substituting same way c1 v1 c2 v2 now in that case C1 is my 100 microgram per ml. So from 100 microgram per ml, I am withdrawing 1 ml and I am diluting it to 10 ml. So what is the concentration of the resultant solution, which is solution B? So here 100 by 10, that is 10 microgram per ml, is the concentration. So C standard here is 10 microgram per ml. Okay, so we have A standard value. We have C standard value. Let us see what about sample solution. So this was about the standard solution. Now for sample, pipette out one ml of the given sample solution. So some sample solution is already provided to us. From this we are withdrawing one ml in ten ml of volumetric flask and make up the volume using point one normal NaOH. That means I am making up the volume to ten ml. From this solution, pip it out 0.8 ml. So from this, I'm withdrawing 0.8 ml and make up the volume to 10 ml using the same solvent. And I have to record absorbance of this solution. See here, record absorbance at 257. Why 257 nanometers? Because that is the lambda max of paracetamol. Determine the concentration of paracetamol in the given sample solution by single point standardization. So my aim is here to find out how much paracetamol is present here. Concentration means I have to report my uh, answer in terms of mass by volume. so it could be mg per ml it could be microgram per ml it could be grams per uh, some volume grams per liter anything so if that is specified you have to just convert it to the desired concentration unit okay so let us see let me uh, tell you i am taking this uh, sample absorbance randomly so let us say i am getting absorbance of sample solution as 0.666 okay so this was my standard absorbance which was 518 this is standard concentration and absorbance of sample is here so i just have to substitute now a standard c standard a test or you can write sample also and c test okay so simply i will be substituting here 12.8571 so what is the unit of this particular concentration the unit will be same as that of the concentration of the standard so this is also microgram per ml so is my experiment over here is my calculation over here no why because this is the concentration of this solution ye jo last mein solution banaya na 10 ml ye uska concentration hai aur hamara question tha what is the concentration of sample solution to matlab mujhe yahan se yahan jana hai so this is called as back calculation and for back calculation what do i require i require dilution factor what is the dilution factor here you must have learnt it from my earlier video of dilution factor 10 by 0.8 into 10 by 1 is the dilution factor so 10 by 0.8 into 10 by 
वन इसमें मिस्टेक ना हो डाइल्यूशन फैक्टर में इसीलिए आपको ये वर्टिकल एरो और हॉरिजॉन्टल एरो मेंटेन करना है विदाउट मेकिंग एनी मिस्टेक यू हैव टू राइट इट करेक्टली सो दिस इज हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय पॉइंट एट एंड द आंसर इज कमिंग आउट टू बी वन ट्वेंटी फाइव टू गेट द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ दिस सोल्यूशन लेट मी कॉल दिस एज सोल्यूशन ए एंड दिस वॉज सोल्यूशन से बी ओके so this is the concentration of solution b now to get the concentration of solution a dilution factor will be multiplied to the concentration of solution b so that means 125 multiplied by 12.8571 so let me check what is the answer 1607.13 microgram per ml i hope you have understood the procedure as well as calculation thank you for watching till the end have a nice day and see you in the next video of double point standardization